accumulators, substations. Let's do it. All right, it is now morning. I believe the word of the day is to heck with symmetry. Perfect. Now the question is, how well is our production doing? We are not charging them adequately, I don't believe, because our consumption, yes, okay, so that's our problem. We have enough, we have an inadequate capacity, but we can fix that too. Especially if I rejigger, rejig my solar design here. This is where that uh, personal RoboPort is gonna be really nice to have later. Much better design. Okay, now then, let's just uh, link this area here up to the construction network. And then what we will do is we will copy, oh, we already have it, good, good, good. And now thank you for your information as I go shift click, shift click. And shift click. Now let's hope, good, I do have enough of them. Excellent. Let's see how our production is going now. Our production is I'm concerned we are not charging these uh, nearly as quickly as I'd like to see. All right, we'll let's just go grab those. Because, yeah, the problem appears to be the amount we are actually producing to charge. Because it should be producing like mad to charge these things up. That's my understanding, anyways. Okay, so let's see, how much more of this can we actually get to? Probably not a lot. But the factory is definitely picked back up again. There's our accumulators, there's our substations, there's our solar farm design. All right, it is definitely out of the zone. Is unfortunate but fixable. All right, let's get another one of these up. We're actually getting to the point where we're not going to be able to do much about it. We're going to need all the space we can get. All right, that's as good as it's going to get for this. All right, we'll get two more of these arrays in, and then I think we're gonna have to relocate all future production to another area. All right. Apparently we rotated that backwards. Just unfortunate again. Not the end, not terrible, but Okay, and these are just fooling about being connected up because they are connected to the RoboPort. All right, there we go. Everything should be on the network now and we'll make sure by tying it in right here as well. Come on, go away, there we are. All right, how are we doing? Gigajoules, rising, good. Now where's that chest? There it is. We might as well get some more of those uh, accumulators in place too. Okay, substations, accumulators, 
Accumulator field, please and thank you. Just barely enough room for this. What are you waiting on? Heck, an interesting, more interesting question would be what are any of these robots waiting on right now? Oh, storage space in the storage network, I guess. Oh crap, here they come. Look at that. Look at all this extra wood we're producing. Come on guys, come and do the bloody job. Oh, because you're not seeing it as part of the network. That's interesting. So make a note that um, stuff you're gonna build in logistics world has to be Come on guys, we just stop with the silliness here. All right, fine. I guess you're not going to. And I'm not going to give you any more space for this. This network really should not have existed in its current state. Um, in retrospect, building this as a uh, power grid area was not wise. I think we'll uh, diversify and move part of our power production out to another area now. I need to clean up the train, though. We'll clean up the wood production, the wood train. Get all of its solar materials that may have been brought over here, or that are still stored in the train by some chance, because. This did get a little out of hand. All right, we'll grab the substations as well. I don't think we need to worry about defenses or repair packs or anything for a long time here. We'll just leave it. Let's go find our train, and then we'll try and get back to what we were working on. How are we doing? That's actually a really important question right now. Almost fully charged, 15.1 gigajoules. Um, not maxed out, unfortunately. Uh, or, sorry, we obviously have more room to grow. Which has uh, sort of got its ups and downs as far as things go. Oh my god, what? Oh, oh my god. Did I really just do that? Yep, I just got run down by a train. I lost track of my avatar. Alright, well... You know what? Forget about this. Plan A. You know what? I should have should have gone with plan B for originally. Alright, well I know where I am now. Um, okay, so we're going to move... We're going to start a new solar plant. Uh, it's going to be attached to the primary factory here. All right, we need the wood train. There's the wood train. Okay, you are carrying no solar products. Storing no solar products. Okay, good. You have officially been relieved of your duties. There was nothing of significance over at the other base. So we can start thinking about where to put solar down here. And I think we're gonna put it down Now I need to get more of the, let's see, what do I need to request here instead? We'll get rid of steel chests, replace it with the zone extenders, because they're just too handy to have in on hand. I think I'm only making the Mark 1 components so far. So we're going to have to design it to actually maximize and make use of our logistics network. Okay. Let's... We need to make lithium-ion batteries now, apparently. Fortunately, I know how to make. How complicated are those? 
Bob's raw materials. There they are. We need lithium perchlorate, lithium cobalt oxide. Oh, a use for cobalt. And that's probably going to use the cobalt. Um, yep, the oxide, not the... Uh, lithium is produced by from lithium chloride. Lithium chloride is produced from lithium water. Okay, so we need to start saving cobalt dust is what we need to do. We need to stop making cobalt plate. Oh. Oh my. Okay, we're going to have to check on that in just a second here. I think the best bet will be to shut a couple of these down. In fact, we'll shut all these down for now. We'll just start storing it all in boxes right here. When copper gets going again, we will uh, start making our cobalt. All right, so lead just stopped completely. Why did lead stop producing? Because we have no lead. We have lots of galena, so what has happened? We have nowhere for sulfur dioxide to go. Okay, well, that's a problem. Oh, right, I was trying to figure out how to make an overflow and sulfur dioxide stop because we're not making sulfuric acid. Well, we really don't need to do that anymore. We do not need... Now, we can store sulfur dioxide as sulfur. How easy is it to make sulfur dioxide into sulfur? Or is there another use for it? Let's see, let's find a recipe. Sulfur, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen. Okay, let's switch to battery three. Oh, there's our sodium hydroxide sink right there. I talked about that. Apparently, he's added, he has added it. Nice. All right, so we got two tanks. So okay, so the two tanks of sulfur dioxide just bought us time. Now, is there any way we can any other recipe for ferric chloride? Doesn't look like it. it. Would be really nice if there was a recipe for ferric chloride that used sulfur dioxide, but since there isn't, we need to use hydrogen. Which we do have, I think, an excess production of from. Yes, that will work. Okay. Oh, this is apparently a leftover leftover system. Okay, that did not affect anything. Good. So we can bring down hydrogen. right here and what we're going to do is we're going to create oh crap that was almost a disaster not completely but almost okay that's going to come across here and we're going to, need to move this iron line which is fine it's in a pretty terrible location as it is There we go. Because we need to turn it into something we can actually get rid of. Which is our problem. We need... Okay, so we need to turn sulfur dioxide into sulfur. And that sulfur can then act as a couple of things. First of all, it means we can get rid of this. We're, we don't need to waste our coal making sulfur anymore. In oh, 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 I was thinking about destroying it, but I just realized something really, really important. Oh, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. All right, well, apparently we're going to start making explosives today, guys. Um, this corridor has been reserved properly. Yes, we are, and we're going to start using, we're going to make it out of the remnants of 
our sulfur dioxide system. Yeah, apparently we're just going to find a new use, another use for sulfur dioxide. So rather than doing what we were about to do, well, okay, in addition to what, doing what we were about to do, but we're going to make a separate supply of hydrogen. Because so I have a feeling it'll just make my life easier if I'm not... Yeah, we'll, we'll just make a separate one. Alright, so where is this water going? Why is that... That line does nothing now, does it? Perfect, okay. All right, so explosives factory 101. Explosives require sulfur, coal, and water. Well, hey, what do you know? We have sulfur, coal, and water right here in quantity in a chemical plant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, our first chemical plant is gonna start producing, we're gonna do it, this will be, where do, we want to, what, where do we want to put explosives? That's actually a really important question. Um, we'll probably put them on the belt. Or on a belt. Why not? We'll put them in the network. Sure. That could be funny. Okay. That is actually become... Well, okay. We'll just leave that the way... We'll just go around that. Let's, we, got, we got so much room here. We might as well be sensible about it. You are going to make explosives. So you need, you need the water. You need the coal and you need the sulfur. Now sulfur is gonna go on a belt as is coal. So there's our sulfur belt, there's our coal belt. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Just thinking here for a second. Okay, we're gonna pull this down by one. You'll see why. It'll leave me more room for... All right, let's get the power in place here. All right, that's taken care of. Now we're gonna need a long inserter and a, okay, we'll need Two long inserters, very strategically placed here. All right. And then we'll need our coal and our sulfur right here. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go... All right, there's our coal. Now for our sulfur. Sulfur is gonna come from sulfur dioxide, and sulfur dioxide is gonna be produced, and we're gonna need also the uh, oxygen production. All right, let's square this off. All right, where's our logistics? We are outside the logistics network at the moment. All right, so the optimal location is right where this glass is coming through, which is absolutely fixable. Under and over, sulfur. We'll figure, all right, we'll figure out sulfur in a minute. I'm not 100% sure where it's gonna get produced yet. So it's starting to feel like I might be producing it down over here. So we'll have sulfur production from Bodsmonds right there, requiring sulfur dioxide and hydrogen. And then we'll have an electrolyzer down here producing water electrolysis. And then we need a void pump. Do I have a void pump on me? I, I made one ages ago, and I don't know what I did with it. Was it set up right... Is this it right here? Nope, that's just a small pump. All right, if I made one, I must have used it for something else. You know what? 
let's use our excess let's use the excess hydrogen we've got because it does exist and we should I have a feeling we're gonna have more than enough of it all right effect transmission now that we have modules we can actually use effect transmission effectively ah okay starting from the wrong place okay let's find because we can always add another one down here as part of the sulfur docks in this area to supplement okay especially because we've already got this partly back made all right so this is going to cease to exist here that's going to keep operating Okay, so that's gonna go under there. Perfect, okay. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. So we'll go here. And to there. under and then down to here and then this is the part where moving this glass would be really really nice apparently I'm not getting the uh, belts probably because I'm not producing them again That's just temporary, temporary as always. Okay. Oh, multiple tiers of effect transmission. Good to know. All right, here we go. Hydrogen in, and then sulfur dioxide in is going to come in here. All right, and it's going to go in these pipes most of the way. To there. Boom, sulfur dioxide down, and around, and in. And we have sulfur production in the most excellent manner possible. And it's going to put everything on. Whoops! Kaboom! You blew it up. Make me sulfur. Excellent. Okay. Now this is going to go onto a belt. And it is going to go underground to supply sulfur to our backup. Okay. Let's just make it go slow. Ow, bugger. Um, right. Traditional sulfuric acid, water, iron plate. Yeah, okay, everything's there. Okay. We need coal. We need sulfur. Oh, you're done. You've, you've got a full batch of explosives already. Wow. Okay, that's pretty amazing. What do we need? What can we use explosives for? We can start making rockets and cannon shells. Nice. Okay. And actually, we have everything we need here already, so we might as well just put our explosives factory-related stuff right here, right away. Let's do it. 
because we don't need any of this on in mass of quantities. All right, first things first, let's go fix our production of crap belts or belts because I'm sure that's oh it might be the lead plate that's shut it down we're gonna have to produce more explosives aren't we all right what where was I going I am so forgetting what I'm doing okay no it's right here and yes it is just missing the belts which means it is time for that fast long inserter to get back to work here good okay all right lead let's have a look See what's going on. Have we started ramping production back up? I think we have. Or we will once we actually start using this really significantly. So let's make two chemical plants. We might as well really, really use those explosives. And then if sulfur is... All right, we need a logistics network here if we don't have it already, we do. Connect it up. There we are. All right, and we go long, long. Get another sulfur factory going here. Again, might as well make good use of all the uh, resources we've got. And then we go long fast. Okay, and then a power pole. One power pole to make them all go. Right there, including our unloading. All right, guys. Oh, you need water. Which is fine. Except for the part where I didn't leave myself up. Ah. There's a will, there's a way requires a little bit more creative um, design. Like mirrored design. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Rocket damage will get up to the next tier. But here we are. Let's just take it over to the other side of this um, pipe here. The sulfuric acid pipe. Here we go. All right, let's get our first explosive product under production here, under manufacturer. So we'll start with cannon shells, I think. We got cannon shells and we got explosive cannon shells. Is there any reason not to make exploding ones? Can anybody imagine a reason why you would not want exploding ones? Okay, piercing. Lower piercing power, bigger area of effect. That's cool. I wonder if there's rocket turrets. Wouldn't that be amazing? Turrets that shoot rockets. That would be really cool. Well, we got both under construction here, because why not? We could use some cannon shells. They both require the same materials. They just require different recipes or different quantities of all the things. But it's... At the end of the day, it's plastics and explosives. So all we have to do is go get our plastic and steel from our line here. But that should have lead coming in quite nicely now. All right, there's that. And then from our steel line, we just need to bring that across. There we go. And then a splitter right here. Here we go. Here comes the steel. Here is the power. 
right there. Perfect. All the explosions will be ours soon. All right, and then these are going to go into appropriately designed passive providers. We'll get two stacks of each. Okay, good. Now what else can we do with... Uh... Wow, we've got a lot of crap in our inventory again. Good. Just clearing all the garbage out. Putting down a couple of robots. Okay, what else explodes or uses sulfur or explosives? We got our rockets. We got, f well, okay, flamethrower ammo just requires oil. We've got a next generation rocket here. Those are vanilla. These must be Bob's Mod style ones. Much more complex to assemble. Rocket bodies. Okay, yeah, much, much more complex to assemble. 